Welcome to Passport Hawaii. Let aloha happen. Aloha, I'm Brooke Lee, and welcome to Passport Hawaii. We go on trips for a variety of reasons. We go for relaxation, for adventure, and sometimes just to see family and friends. But no matter the reason, deep down inside, we all crave for the new, the exciting, and even the more intriguing parts of a destination. Now, Passport Hawaii serves as a portal to get everything we can out of the trip we want. It's a gateway for finding new things and seeing places in a whole new light. Lahaina Town is always bustling with visitors from all over the world, but in ancient Hawaii, this is where the rulers would come to establish their sanctuary. You've actually stumbled upon, in my opinion, what is one of the most sacred places in all of Hawaii. This is Moku'ula. What you guys came upon over here is our current archaeological dig and we're trying to uncover a section of Moku'ula that lies underneath the field. Moku'ula is an oblong shaped island and what we're trying to find the eastern or the Mauka edge of the island. The pond around the island is just like a moat around the castle, it provides that sanctuary. Moku'ula is the royal residence in the center of what today is Lahaina. It was inhabited by the Maui Ali'i for at least 600 years and up until the time of Kawikeo Uli Kamehameha III. For Kawikeo Uli, I believe this symbolized his sanctuary. It was a safe place where he could come and be protected, first and foremost by his family Aumakua, known as Kihawahine, who is also an ancestor of his own family of the Pi'ilani lineage. Around the turn of the century, uh, this place started to become in, in disrepair. And you see it as a park today, but the good thing about it is that the island itself wasn't bulldozed over, it was just covered. So really we just have to remove the layers that were laid on top. The intensity of the land disappeared because it was just covered up and made it into a parking lot or a baseball field. Uh, behind me, Mauna Kahalawai. Kahalawai, the gathering of fresh waters, is how it gets its name. And all of this water finds its way down here and it percolates through the ground. And so it comes up in the form of different Punavai uh, springs in, in different locations all around uh, Lahaina Town. That vai, that, that precious water still flows. We pass this baseball park every day and not even think that it was something that was so sacred to the Hawaiian people. It's important to share the story of Moku'ula with everyone, visitors, Kama'aina, everyone alike, anyone that calls Hawaii home or is interested in Hawaii history is because it's such a vital part to our culture. It, to me, it is our piku. It is the very spiritual center of ancient Hawaii. And it can be the, the center of modern day Hawaii. Here's a piece of property, again, that is extremely uh, sacred to the Hawaiian people. And it's rising again. The more Moku'una rises, I believe the ripple effect throughout the state of Hawaii in terms of uh, recognizing who we were, who we are, and who we will be, will grow and grow and grow. E ho'i kanani moku'ula, let the glory return to moku'ula. Today, the friends of moku'ula share a walking tour to tell the story of this sacred place. Welcome back to Passport Hawaii. We're here on the beautiful island of Maui, the only Hawaiian island that boasts a lavender farm. We check in with Chef Chai at Ali'i Kula Lavender Farm. I'm here at Ali'i Kula Lavender Farm looking for the right ingredient to make my dish. Let's go looking for Ali'i Chang. Hey, 
and this is our good friend Ali. Hi Ali, how are you? Hi Chai, how are you? Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I'm so glad you came to finally visit the farm. Do you know, I always think of lavender as a soap and shampoo, but this is way beyond that yeah. nowadays. Now we could just eat it too. Now I see different type and color. So what is this one? This, this is one a... is the French dentata. There's five different kinds of variations. This is a silver one, ah. and there's some green and light green and variegated. Do you know these ones smell very lemony and you, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you say it smell like a uh, lehing mui? Lehing mui, this It's one. exactly like lehing mui. When you look at the garden when it's pretty, you want to eat. Yes, yes, definitely. Well, we get everything that we needed. Now we're going to head it down and meet Chef Brian Ashlock. We're here at the Sheraton Maui Resort and Spa with Chef Brian Ashlock. Hi, Chef. Hello, hello, Welcome chef. to the Hi. show. Today, what are you going to show us how to make, Chef? We're going to make a lavender uh, pilaf rice. Wow. And that's going to be served with a, a stir-fried vegetable with shrimp. And Sound some good. Fresh lavender. Sound good. Let's get started, Sounds Chef. Good. So first we put the butter. We're going to dip the butter and we're just going to melt that real fast. And don't worry, the recipe will post it on our website also. Okay, then we'll okay. get some Maui onions. Maui onion is the best. It's a very sweet. You almost can eat it raw. Oh, you know? Absolutely, like an apple. Yeah. Like okay. an apple. So we'll saute that lightly. That's like one of the tri tricks to making a nice pilaf. It's just coat it evenly with butter. Don't need to brown it. What we've done is we've taken some of this lavender that you okay. brought from Kula. And we, we put it in a spice bag, bay leaf, and we have some black peppercorns. I'm going to drop this right into chicken stock. Wow, that like that. Good. Okay. And so that'll infuse. And then what you do with the chef is just throw it inside the can. And then we want to cover it. And normally the rice just took about 30 to 40 minutes. It's not depend on you know, how much rice you have in there. Okay, right. chef. So what are we now? We're gonna do a, a, a stir fry. This is almost like a Chinese stir fry. Exactly. You're better at this you know, than the, I am. The good thing about stir fry is very easy, <laughs> it's simple, and it's done quick. You know, it doesn't take all day. It can be done in five minutes. Absolutely. Okay, chef. What are we okay, gonna do? Okay, so I'm gonna there? just hit the shrimp real fast. You don't want to overcook it. Yeah. I just, I just sear it real fast. Then we'll do the vegetables. So we got some asparagus. Wow. I got some. A little celery we're going to put in, a little bit of carrot for color. That's beautiful. Okay. We've got some Maui onions. And what else can we do? I'm going to just show a little bit of sugar snap peas inside. I love sugar snap peas. Okay, well, put nice some extra crunchy. for you. And then some bell peppers. I think that's good enough. I'm going to just hit it with a little bit of oyster sauce and ginger. This is grated ginger, really fine. Oh. How can you go wrong when you add ginger and onion together, yeah? Absolutely. Lavender. We'll just throw that in just to ah, give that's it. just for the aroma. Just for the aroma. Oh, when just you plate it, acid. I can smell that already. Okay. We'll just let it steam a touch. Oh. Now, if you are vegetarian, this is perfect. You don't need to add a shrimp or chicken. This can be just this, yeah? This is my style of cooking, chef. Yeah, this is okay. a Chinese cooking. We're just going to add the shrimp okay. last, so it's not overcooked. While you do that, I'm going to check okay. on the rice. Okay. okay. And look at the rice. It's come out beautiful. And they have the rich aroma of the chicken stock. That's okay. the spice bag that gave all the flavor to it. This is look perfect to me. I'm looking me look hungry. Wow, that looks really good. I think okay. I'm going to eat it all. Hi, um, bro. So are you. Can... You're the lucky one. Mm. I smell food. I come running. Chef prepared this just for you. Well, this is a shrimp stir fry yeah. uh, with the lavender rice. Uh, lavender rice? Yeah, I have a little bit of aroma. Let me know what you think. Yeah, tell us the truth. Chef, oh, that's good. It's good, right? It's, the aroma is so good. I have the saffron too. 